With the growth of T20 across the world, people began to question the purpose of the longer formats of the game. In 2010, West Indian big hitter Chris Gale was the first major player to publicly question the future of Test cricket, something he endured severe criticism for. But collecting Test tons is what he loved to do most. I think you know, 10 centuries, I'd love to add more on that, and but at the same time, you know, I'm happy to achieve 10, um, to, 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 um, to actually achieve. You know, 10 centuries, um, but you know, as, as the future goes on, I'd love to add more to that if we can. Um, you know, just have to, you know, be more disciplined and, you know, try and work on it as much as possible. But at the same time, I'm getting a bit more experience, so, you know, maybe that can come into play a bit more and, you know, it actually help my game. So, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, trying better my, you know, test cricketing career. In fact, Gale passed 10, adding not one but two test centuries against Australia on his return to the helm of the West Indies. Carrying the bat through the second innings for a 165, Gale salvaged a draw in the second test. His 11th test hundred. Up goes his bat. Big smile on his face. His mates are on their feet. And then he raised a 72 ball 102 in the third test. Sadly, it wasn't enough for his team to prevent a 2-0 series loss. For the greater part of his decade-long international career, Gal has had to carry this weight of expectations of a team that has collectively floundered more often than not. I'm sure any captain, you know, you're not getting the result you want. You, you should, you know, you should definitely feel, you know, frustrated and, you know, disappointed because, you know, you, you want to actually get, you know, a couple of wins under your belt and you want your team to do well and you're the actual leader. So, you know, everything is actually going to point to you as a captain. But at the same time, you know, you try to help a lot of players and so forth and you tend to get you know, distracted from your own game and you might find, you might find yourself falling back a bit. Yet the six feet two inches tall Jamaican has mostly managed to tower past everyone, at times even dwarfing the great Brian Lara and the prolific Shivnarain Chanderpaul. Second successive century in this tournament, his third in all and his 15th in his career. In 91 tests, he boasts close to 6,500 runs, had a handy average of 41, and has 13 tons, including a career best 333 against Sri Lanka. But what makes Gale a proven aggressor is his 8,000 runs at a strike rate of 83.95 and 19 centuries from 200 odd ODIs. In the inaugural ICC World 2020, he struck a 57 ball 117, including seven fours and ten sixes to become the first man in history to score a century in all three formats of the game. No doubt then why that knock is one of the most memorable for the left-hander. Uh, I guess that's, uh, that's what I have to say, you know, is it that, that 117. Um, against South Africa, it was, you know, the first, the opening match, you know, was, I mean, he couldn't actually have a better display than that, um, but like I said, the only disappointment was actually, you know, we lost that game, but, you know, I'll say that that's more outstanding, you know, right now. As a swashbuckling opener, Gale combined a rare freewheeling six-hitting ability with an absolute no-holds-barred attitude, making him one of the few genuine entertainers both on and off the pitch. I love to I love, love to joke about things at times, um, but sometimes you know when it's business, you know you know you must know when to actually switch on and you know and get the get the job done. But you know, you know trust me, I'm really cool and fun to go out with and have a good time. Um, you know, like I said, if your point of your you, you step on my toe, I might have to step back on your toe. So it's as simple as that. You know what I mean? But what made him an explosive package, especially in limited overs cricket, is his ability to roll his arms over for some useful wicket-taking off-spin. Gale always likely to slide through your defences. He's quicker than you think. Our assistant coach always say I should actually you know, bowl a bit more because sometimes in the one ODI cricket, um, my, my economical is better than the you know, majority of the bowlers, and uh, it's true. Unless someone don't hit me out of the attack by, you know, you can get a you know, good 20 out of one of them over, then I might have to pull myself out. 
So yeah, it's good. You know, glad to be recognised as an All Rounder. As a result, the 30-year-old has graced various teams around the world, ranging from the ICC World Eleven to the victorious Stanford Superstars. He fetched a price tag of $800,000, one of the highest for a night rider in the Indian Premier League, and played seven games in 2009 in South Africa. You know, the facility was great in, in South Africa, and he could knock a better facility here to actually you know, keep the appeal as well. So, um, you know, it was, it, was, it was tremendous, and it was, like I said, and I was just happy to be a part of it and you know, get that sort of experience.